We're back, everybody, with more Monarch. So, sadly, we have to go start Shinya's route, because the last one we have left is... <clears throat> you should be fine now. And I am not Make sure you don't know looking forward to that. about 14,000 every 60 seconds. That's not too bad. Okay, the shin you're out. The one I was looking least forward to. You're okay. Yeah, no thanks to you. Thank God. Don't thank me. Glad. Oh, um, I'm just relieved you finally <clears throat> woke up. Listen to me. 
I shouldn't be so happy after everything that's happened to you. That's true. I'm sorry. Um, if you have a moment, can we talk? Just the two of us? No. Sora's not in our office right now. We can go in there. I have something I want to ask you. No, I will not go Please? out. Please? I won't take long. I appreciate it. After you. No, after you. <laughs> I ain't letting you walk behind me, you treacherous little snake. <laughs> Thanks for letting me have some of your time. It's a little hard to talk about this in front of the others. <clears throat> um... I have a favor to ask. I want you to stop fighting. I'd love to. Tell your mother that. Huh? You've been pushing yourself too hard. I don't want to see you get hurt again. It's not like you wanted to be a Pact Bearer. You just got swept up in the anomalies. I'll take care of things from here on. So please, break your pact. Leave this all behind. I can't. You've done enough already. <clears throat> I refuse. I see. You have a strong sense of responsibility. But this is something I have to do. I've been doing some reflection. If only I'd taken down the Pact Bears faster. If only I weren't so weak. If only I defeated them all without a second thought. Then Chio wouldn't have had to die. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I know I can't be forgiven. And I know apologies won't solve anything. But I still have my responsibilities as a Jingu to fulfill. You shouldn't have to fight anymore. I want you to rest. To live in peace without any more pain. <coughs> so let me know if you decide to break your pact. I'll put in a good word with Sora for you. Yeah, I don't need your good words. I got good words in my own. <laughs> he doesn't wish for you to fight because it's his role because it's his right <laughs> it seems he's decided with firm resignation to torment his ego with self-flagellation well it's clear that he wishes to fight on his own to showcase how much he can handle alone. And yet, if you wish to be entangled in Shinya's fate, to know him and stand together with him, then find your determination. Bring your ego to bear. The road of fate thins like... I really don't wanna. Like, as far as I'm concerned, I beat the game. <laughs> I knew you'd come through. You didn't know shit. You're going to break your pact, right? Nope. Just leave everything else to me. I'm not going to give up my pact. <clears throat> huh? Why not? because I need it. I'm going to be the one defeating the Pact Bearers. What do you need your power for? Is it because you can't trust me? Yeah, exactly. Or I hate you. Is it because of your wish 
like all the other pact bearers. This isn't your problem alone, Shinya, even though I'd rather it would huh? be. This is my problem. All of it. If I were more capable, if I defeated the Pact Bearers earlier, maybe Chio wouldn't have died. Maybe you wouldn't have had to become a Pact Bearer to begin with. It's all my fault. You're just a victim. Please, leave the rest to me. I can handle it. You're being self-centered, you little twerp. Huh? Self-centered? Me? Me? Yes, you. Oh my god, he did say the me. Some things are out of your control. Out of my control? So what you're saying is that I'll never be good enough. Yeah. No matter how hard I try. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's just like I thought. You think I'm a failure too. Absolutely. That I'm hopeless. Yep. That I can't accomplish anything. Yep. That counting on me is just a waste of time. Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> You are all those things you have said. Um... I'm sorry. For being so worthless, I mean. But even if I am... I don't want you to get hurt anymore. I don't get hurt by anything, I'm the best. So please... Tell me... I'm a goddamn What dope. do I have to do? How can I get you to trust me on this? Rather not, but I have to. Don't try to tackle all this yourself. My problems are my own. I'm the one who should handle them. I don't want to trouble anyone else. It's not your problem alone. That again? Whose problem is it then? It's no one's problem. It's everyone's problem. Huh? Then in that case, if no one's to blame, then what should I have done? How could I have protected Chio? You can't. How could I have kept you from getting hurt? How could we have avoided all of this pain? Pain is a part of life. There's nothing you could have done. <clears throat> what? There's nothing anyone could have done. That's just too cruel. Yeah, welcome to life. That kind of thinking helps nobody. It's irrational. It isn't just. What happened was unfair, but there's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> I hate those words. Get over it. Unfair. Unjust. Irrational. To hell with all of them! I don't want to tell myself that there's nothing we could have done. I don't want to believe that we're all just at the mercy of fate. Oh my god. I'm sick of making these excuses. You're such a baby. Life is unfair. Get over it. <laughs> hey. If you can say that Chio's death wasn't fair that no one could have done anything about it. Then why bother fighting? Why don't you just brush it off and give up entirely? I can't do that. <laughs> I 
If it really is unfair, if you really can't do anything about it, what else can you possibly do but give up? There's no logic to that. You're not making any sense. Life doesn't make sense. Logic isn't the issue here. Then what is? My ego. Your ego? Egos are just ugly, self-serving things. Using them to justify yourself is wrong. This isn't about right or wrong. What? I don't want to let tragedy repeat itself. I don't want to let this injustice stand. I want to fight back. I can't let you face this danger alone. My ego is part of who I am. <sighs> Your ego... No. You, yourself, are strong and kind. <clears throat> you don't know when to give up. Logic can't make sense of the irrational. Once you accept that, you have to give up. <sighs> At least, that's how I used to think. But if the way you live doesn't need to make sense, then there's no reason to give up. I used to have problems with the concept of egos, and the selfish people who are so proud of theirs. But I don't dislike your ego, and I don't dislike you as a person either. On the contrary, I like you. I respect you a lot. If you say that your ego is part of who you are, then I want to respect that too. Your <clears throat> ego is too pure to resent anyone over something irrational. It's too strong to give up just because something's out of your control. And it's too kind to let me face these dangers alone. <laughs> I'd feel a lot better if you were by my side. And it makes me happy that you care about me so much. If there's an ego out there I'm willing to accept, it's yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fruitless facade and the fragile failure. Frail attracts frail, it seems. Vanitas. You seek to thwart tragedy from transpiring twice, hmm? A noble desire, as far as they go. But how will you venture to make it so? The cause of Chio's death was a call from the other world. And the reason a call came in without any mist is because the distortions have gotten too severe. Bear in mind the distortions cannot be reversed. The barrier must lift so they can be dispersed. But getting rid of the barrier as is would just release the Pact Bearers and their authorities into the world. We need to remove the threats first. Kokoro and that maggot breath bastard need to give up their powers. And so do you, when all is said and done. You'd willingly give up the power you've got? You're more deranged than I initially thought. But so be it. This is the path that you chose. Where it leads, nobody knows. <clears throat> well, well. It's been some time. What happened to Miss Aikawa was truly unfortunate. Dr. Shiraneko told me you regained consciousness. I wanted to have a word with you. 
It would be rude of me to ask that of you so suddenly, though. Please come and see me when you have the time. <clears throat> Got the time now, Sora. Act two! Shinya Yuda! Shinya Yuda. Black bearer of fame! <sighs> I hate Shinya. Okay. You said that you didn't want me to face danger all alone, right? Thanks for that. Shut up, Shinya. I don't care about you. I'd rather you die. <clears throat> Should have been you huh. instead of you. I was going to begin by explaining the tragedy that befell Miss. <laughs> it would seem you are already. Yeah, I'm losing. That being the case, I believe you understand. Should we wish to avoid further tragedy, we cannot afford to over. Yeah, I've already this. heard from Shinya. Seems you're birds of a feather. I'm glad you'll continue to flock together with us. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Shinya, I would like you two to seek out Mr. Date, and in the process, shatter his ideals. Is there a way to do this without fighting? I've asked many times, but Mr. Date shows no intention of giving up his authority. That maggot-breath bastard. Just what is he thinking? Shut up, Shinya. You're no better. <clears throat> Would that he was understanding as Miss Sarugadai. Did Kokoro give up her authority? In a manner of speaking. There's no need to worry about her anymore. <sighs> That's good. Indeed. It is most agreeable that she chose the path of safety and security. Now then. I apologize for rushing you, but could you take care of Mr. Date right away? We'd like to prevent more tragedies like Miss Aikawa's from occurring, so time is a- Even after all the awful things that happened, he's pressing on like it's business as usual, ego and all. I can't forgive him for that. He doesn't need your forgiveness. Let's go knock that idiot down a peg. What are you gonna do, Shinya? You're gonna sit there and just give lust one more turn. You're doing nothing. <clears throat> Shinya acts like he's such hot stuff. He ain't nothing. He's a scrub. That maggot breath's mist should be around here somewhere. I tried looking for him on my own a while back. But I couldn't find him no matter where I searched, including here. I have no idea where he could be skulking. But he should show up if we start shattering his ideals. Everything from the second floor up is filled with mist. Indeed. There shouldn't be too many unsettled around. Why is that? Apparently, the maggot breath himself was scaring the students away. Good. Does more than you do. 
All right, <clears throat> let's go knock out his first ideal. Right quick. It seems this place too is linked to the depths. This number connects to the singularity. All right, we already knew where the phone was. It was right there in between those stack of chairs because we did this in Kokoro's route. Thankfully, the archives seem very small, at least the first two sections. There's his ideal a gaudy crystal with a strong dose of narcissism, much like him. Better than a whiny crybaby who thinks so lowly of himself they want to die, like you. <clears throat> Let's just get this over with and shatter it. Okay. Do not need. Let's go, Shinya. My mind is up. I can't look small. <laughs> like the setup is what You're takes the dead. longest. Arise! I saw this coming. It's in your hands. Okay. Arise! Saw this coming. Rise! Here I go! Small fry, small fry. Doing it this way is a little faster because it makes it so I have to sit through the gajillion enemy turns. Matt 
reject the emptiness. I'm proud of you, Shinya. I won't lose to anyone. Alright, easy peasy. There it is. isn't enough. Be it power, knowledge, or anything else. I need to get stronger, but I don't have enough. The weak are meat, and the strong do eat. There are only those who take, and those who get taken from. I can't let anything else get taken from me. I have to protect everything that makes me who I am. This time, I have to be on the side that takes so I can get back everything taken from me. I'll leave my weaknesses behind, even if it means stealing everything from those who steal from me. Past, present, and future. I'll get stronger. I'll prove the worth of the life my mom loved. I'll reclaim the dreams and the pride my gramps passed down to me. I can't afford to give up. Worth, dreams, and pride. That's why he wants more power, even if it means stealing it from other people. So what? It fits him to a T. I agree. It's an insatiable ego, just like its owner. It's selfish through and through, but... Almost stupidly sincere, too. Mm. Still, if that's the case, if he truly doesn't want anything else stolen from him, and he wants to reclaim what was, then resisting us is the opposite of what he should do. Shinya, you're an idiot. That idiot. I just don't get what he's thinking. <clears throat> At least he is thinking, unlike you. Alright. You said that you didn't want me to face danger all alone. Do the talking, do the infirmary, and then it'll be next time where we finish this up. Well... I have to admit, I'm a little curious. How do you feel about that maggot breath bastard? I like him more than you. You're going to be fighting him pretty soon. Do you hate him? Nope. I hate you. I don't. Right. Of course you don't. You did say you didn't blame anyone for what happened. I blame you. It's your but fault. he's not going to give up his power. He's a selfish jerk who doesn't think about all the trouble he's causing everyone else. Doesn't that make you hate him even a little? I don't hate him at all, even a little. How can you fight him if you don't hate him? What you do. He's our enemy, you know? He's your enemy. You don't need to hate your enemies. <clears throat> now that, that I don't... doesn't know. make any sense. You're supposed to hate your enemies, treasure your friends, and love your family. Isn't that the way it goes? Isn't that normal? It doesn't matter. Then... Loving your enemies, hurting your friends, 
and hating your family. It's good too. That's allowed? It is. It varies That's person a person. little unreasonable, don't you think? It doesn't make any logical sense. Logic has nothing to do with it. It's on a person-to-person -person behavioral basis. Right. You're the kind of person who follows his ego. Do you hate Ryotaro, Shinya? Well, I don't like him. The way he thinks is selfish, and he always says things that rub people the wrong way. He irritates me in more ways than one. Oh, you're one to talk. Even now, he refuses to give up his authority. There's no excuse for that. He clings to power to save his own skin. I can't stand it. I'll take his power away, even if I have to shatter his ideals and fight him for it. But... I don't think this is the same as hating him. I... That idiot. That stupid jerk. Even though he's a pact bearer, we have to defeat. I just can't bring myself to hate him. I feel guilty about it. Like what we're doing is wrong. He's our enemy. We shouldn't go easy on him. Or get along with him. That isn't true. You don't hate anybody, huh? Not even your enemies. No, I absolutely hate you. You've got a pretty open mind. Maybe yours is just too narrow. Damn. <laughs> Maybe things would be easier if I were a bit more accepting. Like you. <laughs> but I don't think I'm quite there yet. Anyway. We should head for the next ideal. It's going to be a little hard to fight that maggot breath, since I don't actually hate him. Still, he definitely annoys me at the very least. I'm looking forward to smacking that stupid smirk off his face. Until next time, everyone. <sighs>